The Seattle Opera moved into this stunning $60 million building in late 2018. They recently invited the public to come to an open house, which included a chance to learn how to sing some opera in Italian. Please repeat after me. Quando mendo, quando mendo soletta per la via. We've never seen any an event like this where we've been, and we've been in, you know, we've moved a lot and been to a lot of different operas in different cities. And this is definitely unique in that it's very, um, the open access, and it was free. And that's a very big thing, you know, when you're bringing a family and all. The Cinderella practice. It was pretty fun to watch. Guests also explored some fun props and got to try on costumes. <laughs> Miriam, what are you working on? Costume designer Suzanne Davis gave us a preview of the opera's closet. We have a giant closet to store all the costumes that have been on our stage. Some of the storage racks are three tiers high. We access them with a rolling staircase, basically. And I can't tell you how many linear feet, but I think it could probably reach to the top of the Space Needle. One of the volunteers we met at the open house is Monty Jacobson. She joined the company in 1963. She retired from singing in 1996, but kept working in marketing and retired from that role a few years ago, sort of. You retired again. But you're still here. So now I'm volunteering. So you see there's a real love of opera here and the people that we work with. And look at all the accomplishments. We've redone an opera house. We built this wonderful building. And so it's been a great pleasure. Monty is especially excited for the opera's next chapter as they welcome their new general director, Christina Scheppelmann. Well, I think it's wonderful. I'm just really looking forward to working with her. I'm sure it's going to be a great collaboration. She has a lot of good background. Julie uh, is uh, a great asset for Seattle Opera. In her new role, Christina is one of only a handful of women who run opera companies in the U.S., an honor she is proud of, but it's not her main focus. To me, it's important and good that in this business we have a lot of women. To me personally, I haven't thought really as something that I need to do because I'm a woman. I do what I do because I enjoy it. Born in Hamburg, Christina speaks six languages, something that has served her well in her esteemed roles at various opera houses, including her most recent role as the artistic head at the Gran Teatro de Lucio in Barcelona, Spain. She has also held important roles in San Francisco, Washington, D.C., and Oman in the Middle East. I think the world is big. Life is short, so you might as well go from place to place. This is the eighth city I'm living in, if you count Hamburg also as, as the first city I was born and raised in. And then uh, five countries, three continents. And I find it exciting. Christina remembers the first time she watched an opera. She was 16, but remembers it like it was yesterday. I sat in the fifth row in the orchestra and uh, it just made a great impression. It was fabulous. And while that was the first time she attended a show, Christina herself was already singing opera in a children's choir. It was all enough to get her hooked for life. As the new general and, uh, director, one of her visions is to make the Seattle Opera more welcoming and look for new ways to involve the community. She especially wants to share their new building. She even envisions opera music playing outside the building, as long as the neighbors don't mind. I hope that this will stimulate curiosity and excitement and interest, and I hope also that people that walk by will walk in. You know, we have a big window front. Um, we'll have music and more music playing outside. Uh, so when people walk by or are stuck in traffic in Mercer Street, they actually can hear who we are and what is this great building. Oh. It's all part of her plan to encourage more people to fall in love, not just with the Seattle Opera, but with opera overall. Come, if you're not an emotional iceberg, music should move you to some extent. I mean, just because you have never been doesn't mean anything.
Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.